Jesus Christ. Oh my God, dude. What's going on guys? It's OmniArch and today I want to bring you a video talking to you about the newly announced Modern Warfare trilogy that the Call of Duty Giants uh, the Call of Duty Gods have blessed upon us uh, coming out, I'm guessing, later this year. I know other big YouTubers have covered this, I know other big YouTubers have talked about this, but I wanted to get my reaction and opinion and discussion out there because I just... I have a lot to say, I think, uh, and it, it's just, I wanted I wanted to talk about it, and I hope you guys will comment down below with your opinions, but if you didn't know, if you didn't hear, they are packaging together Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 in one game, I don't know if it's one disc or in one package, right, and they're releasing it, wait for it, for last gen, oh, oh, last gen, dude! we can finally play the modern warfare trilogy on last gen oh my god i've waited so long for this guys you have no idea i've been wanting to play call of duty modern warfare 2 unless are you fucking serious activision are you fucking serious for real though like okay here's the problem with this release a waste of time and money huge waste of time and money um because it's $30, right? You go into Best Buy, you want this trilogy, $30. Guess what? I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Hardened Edition for $8 on eBay. And I know that I might have gotten a little bit lucky with that, with the bid or whatever, but the, even the base game, you're not going to pay more than like 7 bucks on eBay. And I'm very cer certain that that is pretty true for the other games in that trilogy. So you're not saving money by buying this trilogy, right? You're, you're getting the three games all in one. You're not saving any money. The problem is you can't pick and choose which of the ones you want. So let's say you don't like Modern Warfare 3, right? Let's say you don't like that one. You can go on eBay and buy Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, approximately $8 each, 16 bucks. You just saved, uh, you know, $14 plus tax off of what this trilogy would cost. So that's one problem it's not saving the, the the customers any money no one's saving money by doing this b modern warfare the first one to my knowledge doesn't even work on multiplayer anymore i know white boy 7th street uploaded a video where he he had a copy that he just opened and he tried to play it and he couldn't find a lobby there just were none there weren't any lobbies it was a brand new game he just bought it at best buy it was the greatest hits version for the ps3 i think and he just couldn't find a lobby so it to, to the best of my knowledge you can't even play Modern Warfare online at, at this moment on the PS3. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me. I don't even have it. Um, but I did try to play it maybe two years ago or a year ago. Uh, and, and I could get into maybe one lobby and it was super hacked. And I can only imagine it's worse now. So to repackage that game for the exact same console as it was on before. Uh, and then just to know that people are going to buy this expecting to be able to play it online. And they're not going to be able to because it doesn't work. So Activision, what are you doing? Did you not know that your own games like online multiplayer was either dead, hacked to shit, or you shut it down? Like, what were you trying to accomplish with this? And I understand, like I said, okay, maybe Modern Warfare doesn't work online, but you still get Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Okay, you can buy Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 on eBay or Amazon for like eight bucks each. It's simple. Then you save money that way. So I don't understand why they wasted all their time and resources making this trilogy. In my opinion, right? This is my opinion. They spent maybe a week on this project. They said, okay, what? how can we get some quick, quick bucks? How can we make some quick money? All right, Dave, can you go make a cover art for a trilogy, you know, for like, let's say Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3? Just, can you just whip one up real quick? Yeah, make, make one for the PS3 and the Xbox 360, whatever. Just do that, right? Call up the warehouse. Hey, Jim, how, do we have, we have extra copies of those, of the Modern Warfare trilogy, right? We have, no, 1, 2, 3, yeah. Okay, all right. Hey, um, 
hey company that makes the game cases can you just send us a bunch of the cases with three slots for discs okay all right hey hey jim from warehouse yeah you're gonna get a, a bunch of shipments in can you just transfer those discs over to these new cases uh and and john or wh whoever the fuck is making the graphics is gonna go down to the printing press and print them all we'll, we'll just have them all packaged and sealed up have them out here by next friday all right cool yeah yeah contact uh you know what? I'm, I'm gonna call best buy and ebay right now yeah yeah all right all right see you later peace that's all that they did they they just they they scrapped together some bullshit extra copies that they had and figured eh, the community wants a trilogy uh they probably want it on next gen but we have all this extra shit for last gen so fuck it might as well put it out there won't really cost us anything and we'll just see if we can get anybody's money maybe they'll want to play modern warfare and they won't be able to lo 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 laughs to the bank with all your money like activision you're a scumbag like and to top it all off you just announced Modern Warfare was being remastered in HD for your next upcoming title. So I really don't understand the point in including that in the trilogy. So I don't know what 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 happened, guys. What happened? What what actually happened? You can tell you can tell Papa Omniarch. You can tell tell me that you fucked up, okay? Just let me know. Maybe you guys had this in in plan for development for a year or two years ago and you just were dragging your feet and it never came out. And now you figured, eh, might as well put it out. You know i don't understand i really don't understand They're, you're not accomplishing anything you're not serving any s sort of the community i seriously don't think that there's a single person in this entire community that's just like still on last gen first off because th this next next gen as we keep calling it even though it's current gen because it's been out for like fucking four years now it it, people have switched people have moved on most people in the gaming industry have either moved on or stopped playing their old consoles like everyone has just accepted that the last generation is dead let's just accept that i mean they just just stopped producing the 360 like it's over guys it's over why are you releasing a new repackaged bundle of all these games that are are not even in short supply you could walk into gamestop and have no problem finding modern warfare one two and three it's not like they're rare it's not like people are collecting them like nothing was accomplished here you have you've you're it's kind of it's embarrassing that's really what it is and to be honest i know i'm i'm you know i'm getting really angry and i'm really upset about this to be honest it doesn't affect me at all right i'm just not gonna buy it uh i already have modern warfare 2 and 3 and i could give a fuck about modern warfare 1 because a i'm gonna get it when it gets remastered and b it doesn't even work on the old console so this trilogy doesn't affect me right but i feel a little bit insulted as a consumer of the call of duty franchise that they're just this is like a cheap money grab like ah, eh, you kids you want this fucking trilogy here take it eh, it's thirty dollars yeah like it just feels like really cheap and cheesy and just to know that one of the three games won't even go online it's just like it's like really fucked up you know so yes it won't directly affect me i'm not gonna purchase it i don't have to acknowledge it i don't have to you know look at it or see it or anything it's not really going to directly affect me but it's just watching the stupid business practices of a company that you've supported for a long time and has been making your one of your favorite gaming franchises since you were freaking 11 years old like it's just it's really sad to see things like this happen and to see that uh it is very likely just a greedy money grab and i understand corporations you know have to do what they have to do to maximize profits and and things like that uh you know make the shareholders happy and, and you know whatever do that whole thing but i honestly think you could have made a lot more money if you took a the extra time to just release this trilogy for next gen like you know what you did instead is you packaged the first remastered game with a with infinite warfare which most people think is going to be ass so you still sell copies of that one what you could have done and you you charge an extra twenty dollars that's what it was in infinite warfare 60 bucks if you want cod 4 it's 80 right so you're making the extra 20 dollar profit margin on that what you could have done is just remastered all three of these freaking games put them in their own trilogy for the next gen consoles and release that as a whole new 60 dollar game you could have done that you would have made this you would have made even more money because then all the people that actually want to play infinite warfare would buy that and then the old, all the people like me who want to play all the old modern warfares would have spent 60 more dollars on a trilogy uh, and and to me maybe maybe you just only you only had modern warfare done maybe you just you couldn't remaster modern warfare 2 and 3 in time and you just needed some way to save infinite warfare like that that maybe that's what it was and, and you figured okay well 
we'll just we were gonna put it for this trilogy project for next gen but we really need to save infinite warfare so you know just you guys don't have to rush two and three yet because we're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna put that project on hold we're gonna take mono warfare and just package it with infinite warfare and we'll figure out what to do with the other ones uh later uh, you know what you could do actually just bundle all the old ones together and put that out for last gen yeah yeah we'll do that fuck them you know it's just the whole thing seems like you just fucked it all up it doesn't seem you know like you you obviously didn't have the consumer in mind when you did this and i don't blame you like i said corporations gotta make that money boo boo i understand that but you really sh you, you could have gone about it in a different way to make even more money is what i'm saying you could have packaged the three remastered games uh f for you know for the <laughs> for the newest gen consoles and made you know even more money it doesn't make any sense um you could have timed it better too you know you could have dropped infinite warfare and then four months later dropped the remasters uh or, or whatever and then you know people are complaining about infinite warfare by that time and they hate it so much oh here's a new game here give here let's give activision 60 more dollars for games that we actually like whatever um I just want to make this quick video kind of ranting a little bit about this stupid trilogy that they're releasing hopefully you guys don't buy it seriously don't buy it if you're watching this and you're thinking about buying it just go on ebay or amazon or go to your local GameStop and just buy two and three because one won't even play online um that's for ps3 i believe so just keep that in mind um yeah so don't buy it seriously let's just it's it's so stupid how i even have to suggest that but just don't just don't fucking buy it um if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a rating whichever rating you want to leave i don't care as long as you leave one before you click off the video make sure you subscribe to my channel somewhere down here or on mobile or whatever whatever you're watching on just make sure you subscribe i hopefully you will if you're new around here i don't think you're gonna regret it make sure you comment down below telling me what do you think of this trilogy if you have any ideas on why you think they did this let me know in the comment section below if i if i if i missed some giant piece of information of if i missed some some very obvious thing like oh this is why they're doing it let me know in the comment section below so i don't feel like such an idiot um but until then i don't know uh and let me know what you think about the trilogy and all that stuff and that's about it guys so thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed and this has been another commentary i will talk to you guys later peace